Dear students, today I shall be discussing on investigations for chronic superiority media tuberculin disease. This is a very commonly asked question both in practicals and theory of MBBS undergraduate ENT examinations. And this is the most commonly made mistake also by the students. So, the common investigations carried out for COCM, CTDR, ear discharge swab in active disease only for gram stain, culture and sensitivity. This is very important. We usually do not perform ear discharge swab when the patient is responding to antibiotics. But when the patient does not respond to antibiotics for 7 days, then we can take the swab for gram stain and culture and antibiotic sensitivity. This helps to identify the correct antibiotic for the patient. When the patient is not having active discharge or when there is no discharge, don't mention regarding ear discharge swab as you are having the case of COCM tubotemic type dry. So don't tell ear discharge swab to be used. That makes mistakes. Next is examination under microscope which is very important. I will be describing why examination under microscope is important. Then pure no audiometry, very much useful. Patch test which is almost historical. And X-ray mastoid, bilateral 30 degree, lateral oblique view or Schuller's view. It is done when cortical mastoid surgery is required in COCMTT which is not responding to conventional antibiotics. Why examination under microscope is important? It is important to confirm the findings of otoscopy because you can have the magnified view of the tympanic membrane. Epithelial migration at perforation margin can be visualized which might be useful to change the plan of treatment. When there is epithelialization to the middle it is taken as COCMTT antral disease. So our plan of management changes. To look for polystatum and granulation tissues, a secular chain integrity can be assessed by examination under microscope and collection of discharge for culture and surgery can be obtained even with the help of microscope. So examination under microscope has a crucial role in the management of chronic otitis media if it is available in the OPD. Next is pure audiometry. This is very much useful. Its uses are to know the presence of hearing loss either the patient is having hearing loss or not, a degree of hearing loss, mild, moderate, severe, type of hearing loss, might be conductive or sensorineural or mixed, to look for the hearing status of the other ear so that we can compare both the ears and when the other ear has sensorineural hearing loss, we can counsel the patient regarding treatment outcomes. PTA also helps to compare the hearing post-operatively with the pre-op hearing, therefore it acts as a record to compare post-operative hearing with pre-operative hearing. It also helps for medical legal purpose when the patient complains that the patient is not hearing after surgery. Past test is not commonly performed but it's performed when deafness is around 40 to 50 decibel to find out ocular discontinuity. First we have to perform pure audiometry for hearing threshold. Then aluminum foil patch is placed over the tympanic membrane perforation and pure audiometry is repeated. If hearing has improved then we think that ocular chain is intact and mobile. If hearing is same or worsened, then there has to be ocular chain problem, either broken or fixed ocular chain. Therefore, it helps when the patient has PTA level of around 40 to 50 decibels. Almost all these students tell that past test has to be performed in every case that is wrong. When the patient is having mild hearing loss, around 26 to 40 decibels, past test is not required. Thank you so much. So two important things to be learned from today's topic are post for gram stain, culture and sensitivity is sent when the patient is having active discharge and that the patient is not responding with use of antibiotics, conventional antibiotics. When there is no discharge in the external channel or in the middle ear, how can you collect the post for culture and sensitivity? That is most commonly made mistake in the exam. Next is past test. When the patient is having mild hearing loss, then past test is not required. We don't ask for past test nowadays. We just ask the patient to have pure audiometry and we find out if there is ocular fixation or not. So past test is not always required. And it is a tendency for the students to tell past test and it is a tendency for the students to tell past test as an investigation for chronic otitis media mucosal disease. Thank you.